hello all uh, in this video i'll show you how the uh, landed cost uh, works in udu so um, this is my database and uh, first of all i'll go to the uh, product categories and i'll go to the category called all and i'll uh, you can see that i have uh, selected the costing method as uh, first in first out so for landed cost to work, the uh, costing method should be either a first in first out or average cost. So I've selected uh, first in first out. And for inventory valuation, I have selected the automated inventory valuation. So these are the information that you will need to put on, uh, put in if you select the inventory valuation as automated. So this is my uh, setup for the product category. Uh, now I'll uh, go to the products and I'll show you the product that I have set up uh, for the landed cost. So um, I have set up a service called uh, transport. And uh, if I open this, you'll see that uh, the product type is service. And in the uh, purchase uh, tab, I have selected is a landed cost. So uh, this is a landed cost uh, product. And in here you have the default split method. So you have different options to, to split the uh, landed cost uh, in among the products. So uh, there's equal low. So let's say if there are uh, three or four products, so the landed cost will be split equally uh, for all of the products. And you have some other options as well by weight, by volume and by current cost. So you can um, select that here and uh, I'll save this and I'll go back to our main dashboard. So uh, make sure that from the settings, you enable the landed cost first. So if we go here, so this is the landed cost in the uh, main settings that you need to uh, enable to see all the um, required fields. So now I'll go to the uh, purchase and we'll purchase a product. So uh, Let's say I'm purchasing desk with screen and three quantities. So we'll save this purchase order, confirm, and we'll receive these products. We'll validate the receipt and apply the return quantities. So okay, we have received uh, uh, these product uh, these products, uh, three quantities of desk with screen. If we go to the inventory valuation. We'll see here the uh, desk with screen here. We have three quantities and the value value uh, is 300. So let's say uh, we have got these uh, three pro products for 300 um, price and now we need to get the landed cost as well. So we'll go to the purchase order. We'll create the bill from here. And these are the this is the line that's auto populated the product in the uh, bill. So we'll add the transport in the bill. So this is our landed uh, cost product that we created and we'll add the amount as well. So we have added the uh, transport service uh, in the bill and we have added the price and now we will confirm the bill. So after confirming the bill, you can see the option here to create landed cost. So we'll click here and in here we'll select the transfer so this is the receipt num receipt number using which we just received the products and in here also you can change the split method you can uh, add that in the product as well like i showed you previously and in here also you can change that and now we'll validate this uh, landed cost and if we go back to our inventory valuation so this will uh, okay so if we go here you'll see that our valuation is increased by 150 so this is the landed cost that has come up here so this is how um, you can add the landed cost to the uh, products so that you can uh, you have the exact valuation of your inventory and you know that uh, uh, how much landed cost for every product is uh, there so this is how this is the demo that I showed you uh, on version 15 of Udo. So that's how it works here. Thank you.